Watch the bird on the ground. She's getting ready to come up. She flies up to the bench. She's getting ready to come in to my hand. Watch this. I've slowed this down for you. She lands on his back. Then it looks like she's choking him and slides down into my hand. <laughs> right on my knee, huh? There you go. Now this bird is so comfortable with me that when he's done eating, he will just sit there, sometimes for more than 10 minutes. And sometimes he looks like he's going to fall asleep. I do feed them right before sunset, and they do sleep right at sunset, so maybe that's exactly what he was planning. I think he sees my hand as a very safe place to spend the night. These guys can be pretty entertaining. I usually try to get my phone ready, put it in video mode, before I hold my hand out. One night, before I was ready, one of the birds came and landed on the top edge of my phone. A few seconds later, the other bird joined them. They sat side by side on the top edge of my phone. Now how can I make a video if the birds are sitting on top of my phone? Some of you are probably wondering how you can get a wild bird to sit in your hand. No matter what kind of bird you choose, or exactly how you approach it, it all comes down to little by little, step by step, and patience. First, choose your bird. I picked the zebra dove because I noticed that here in Bangkok they like to look for seeds on the sidewalks and in the parking lots where the seeds are easy to spot and to pick up. So they are already accustomed to people and sometimes let people walk within two or three feet of them as long as you don't stop or do anything unusual. Having chosen your bird, now choose your spot. Make it the same place and the same time every day. I started out by dropping seeds close to my feet. That way the birds would have to get close to me in order to get the seeds. You can see she was quite timid at first. Next I began leaving my hand over the birds as they came in to eat. You can still see how she's afraid and flinches away. At first my hand was about six inches above the birds. Over a period of days, I slowly lowered my hand until it was only about two inches above the birds. Eventually you will bring your hand low enough that the birds can eat directly out of your hand. You will notice differences in the personalities of the birds. The one that is eating out of my hand has a lot more confidence, even though she is the new arrival. I have been working with the other bird for almost two months now, and you can see she is still afraid to eat out of my hand, even though this bird is setting an example for her. I have noticed that she is missing part of her foot. I don't know whether she was born without the toe or whether she lost it to a predator that almost caught her. If she did, that might explain why she's more afraid. The next step is to get the birds to step up into your hand. Some of that will happen naturally over time as the birds become more comfortable with you. But you can prod them along by making the seeds a little harder to reach and by making it easy for them to step up into your hand. I wanted the birds to become more comfortable with me as a person, including my body and my face, so I invited them up onto the bench beside me. Once the birds are fully comfortable with coming to you on the bench, you can place your hands on your lap. It's too high for the little legs to either step up or hop up, so now they are going to use their wings. 
then you can hold your hand above your lap. Finally, you can stand up and eventually move away from the bench. I did this in a place that was very convenient for me, right in front of my condominium, where there's a lot of foot traffic and a lot of motor traffic. This experience has taught me that it would be better to pick a place that is private, like your own backyard if you have one, or some place that is very quiet. There are a number of reasons for this. One is that other people will see what you're doing and they will begin feeding the birds too. Then the birds will not come because they are already full. My friend says that the birds are landing in other people's hands and, and she's worried that they may land in the wrong hands and that harm may come to them. So best is to try and find a private place. Now if you'd like to see more about the doves around and in my condo here in Bangkok, check out the dove blog on my website silentnature.com all one word silentnature.com I hope you enjoyed my video thank you for watching